We're going to take a look at 119 from section 4.3, logarithmic functions and their graphs. The function we are provided is f of x is equal to the natural log of x minus 4. Keep in mind that the natural log is a special kind of logarithm in the sense that it has a very unique base value. So we could rewrite this say that this is actually the natural the natural log which is the log base e of x minus 4. Either way whichever one you're more comfortable with. So we're going to go ahead and now note what transformations we are seeing here. Well the big thing that I'm seeing is that there is a subtraction happening inside of the function and they know that it's happening inside because it's contained within the grouping parentheses. So what the minus 4 is telling us to do is what? It will be a horizontal transformation. In other words, it will either move to the left or to the right. And remember that when it's inside the function, it's almost like a house of lies. So if I see a negative 4, it's really telling me I'm going to move to the right 4 units. So we can go ahead and jump into our table to help us out. And we're going to note the common um, points that we would have from our parent function. So that might be a good idea for us to jot that down only if you need to. So our parent function would just be the log base e of x. When we talk about parent functions, just as a reminder, we're stripping away any sort of transformations that we encounter. By stripping away the transformations and just looking at the parent function, we can identify those common points that occur with logarithmic functions. So in this case, I know that I will have a point at 1, 0, and then another one at the base value, which in this case is e, and 1. But if I'm moving everything to the right 4, then that means that I'm going to move along the x-axis, so that means that my x values and my coordinate points are going to be affected. If I'm moving to the right 4, I'm going to add 4 to both of these numbers. Okay, just as a little bit of an aside, if you have e plus 4, you can always do the decimal approximation for e, which is about 2.72, and do the addition of 4 there. So my new coordinate points will be at 5, 0, and then at about 6.721. So this is enough information for us to go ahead and bring out a coordinate plane and generate the graph. Off, recall that the vertical asymptote that exists with, logarithm fun with logarithmic functions exists directly on top of the y-axis unless there is some sort of horizontal transformation because if I move the function left or right the asymptote follows so since I moved my function to the right four my asymptote will also move to the right four units so we're going to go ahead and sketch that in with a dotted line and this is something that you would want to include if you are asked to graph by hand. Now let's go ahead and add in our points. So we have one at 5, 0 and then we have another one at about 6, 6 7, 6.72 and 1 so that's about here and we can kind of follow the direction of the points to help us out here. And notice that they're pivoting upward, so I think my graph is going to take a, the shape of like this. I'm going to come up, hugging the asymptote, connect with the x-intercept point that I have here at 5, 0. And then the other point at 6.721 is telling me how to pivot. And then notice after that, I'm going to slowly continue to increase my function here because the function is always going to be increasing. The other way that you know that your function is increasing is by looking at the base value of your logarithm. The base value is e, which is approximately 2.72, which is greater than 1, which tells you that it is an increasing function. So there is your final solution.